yet another haul with you this is largely makeup haul but i just have two accessories in it because i did purchase them i don't know when you will be seeing this haul but i'm recording this on the 22nd of march so yes this might go pretty late simply because i am pre-recording videos for my channel so yes i'm just gonna start off with the haul without blabbering more so the first thing i got was this makeup revolution ultra pro brush collection brush collection and this is how the box looks like and this is where the brushes are placed inside i'm going to show you each of the brushes these brushes are amazing i got them from an instagram store named online makeup india i would leave a link to their instagram profile in the bottom bar so you can go ahead and check them out so yes i got this brush set i'll show you each of the brushes so there is the uh, s104 brush which is a powder brush these brushes are extremely soft and they work so well these were the only brushes that carried with me to mumbai and they served me pretty well so i also have my favorite brush out of the set which is the f103 which is a duo fiber buffer brush this just blends in your foundation so beautifully it just makes the foundation look so flawless and so skin like i love this brush then there is the E104 which is an angled brush. I use this for my eyebrows to do my lower lash line and do my upper lash line with my shadows and whatnot and I dropped it. Then there is the F105 which is an angled brush. So you can use it for your blush, for your highlights, for your contour, for basically everything that you need in life. Then there is the E103 which is a blending brush. Again this works beautifully, it blends in that color so 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 good and lastly there is the e101 which is like a shader brush so it packs on the color really nicely it's tiny so it can go into that inner corner as well so these are all of the brushes that come in that set i'm not too sure of the pricing i'll mention it in the bottom bar for you guys so you can go and check the price of this then from that same instagram page i got this eyeshadow collection by eyes lips and face that is elf i got the 100 piece eyeshadow palette so it has like all of the colors you'll ever need it has gorgeous neutrals colorful blues greens every single shadow that is present in this earth so yes this is a really nice piece to go for i think this retails around 2300 i'm not really sure so i will write all of the prices in the bottom bar as i said for you guys and lastly, I got the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge from them. I already have this, but that is tearing apart, so I thought I need a backup for this. This is, I think, the first time that I've like re-bought any makeup product, and this is a total recommendation from my side. If you are looking for a makeup sponge that will make your face look flawless and give you that nice, smooth skin, then this is to go for. This is lovely and it's amazing. Keeping on the sponges, I got this sponge from Forever 21. This is from their Love and Beauty collection. So this is really squishy and nice. It doesn't really enlarge when you like dampen it, but it's really nice if you just want to like pack that color. I got it simply because it just looked too cute to pass. So I got it. It retails for 239 rupees, I guess. And it does a pretty good job. It's decent. I won't say it's like the best out there. But it does a decent job. Then Maybelline sent their Fashion Week Essentials over. I couldn't really attend the Fashion Week. Maybelline did want me to attend the Fashion Week. But I couldn't really attend it because I was in Mumbai for the Fan Fest. Fan Fest was like a way bigger event for me than the Fashion Week. So I did not. But they still were sweet enough to send this over. So the first thing they have in this pouch is the new Super Black Colossal Kajal. Let me know if you want a review on this. Or maybe you're going to see this video way too late. Don't know. So if I've not done a review on this and if you still want to review on this, then comment below. I would love to do it for you guys. So this is their new Colossal Kajal, which is super black as they say. Then I have their uh, Super Stay Gel Nail Color in the shade Emerald Excess, which almost looks like a black, but is actually a deep, deep, deep green. So this is their 7 day gel formulation, fancy, schmancy. Although I would like to get the mint shade in this one. Then I have Lip Gradation in the shade Red 2. I already have it, so don't know what I'm going to do with this. I might just give this away to someone. And lastly, we have the Colossal Mascara. I don't know how many tubes of this I have. I think I have about 4 or 5 tubes of this and then another one comes in. It's like sometimes receiving makeup doesn't give me happiness because it's like I already have this. I don't need this. Give me something new if that's what you like. But oh my god, so many honkers. But yes, this is the Maybelline Fashion Week Essentials, although the pouch is really cute. I like the pouch. Then I got the Kiss Beauty Professional Makeup 3-in-1 Brighten Contour Conceal. 
so this is what it looks like it's actually i think a cream formulation i got it from um flip card i guess for about 300 rupees 350 rupees it says 600 in its mrp but i got it at a discounted price so this is what it looks like it's a highlight and contour kit let me show you also it says the powder formula these are creams i don't know if the texture of this is like a cream to powder because i've never like used them till now so don't know then I got 10 shades of Dyna Flannel 2000 cases from Habana.com Habana.com carries all products of Dyna Flannel so if you are looking for an online site which does give a discount as well on Dyna Flannel then you can totally check out Habana.com so I got the shades um, Goddess of Heart which is like a pink shade I'm not swatching anything because this is going to be a really long video then then there is yes i did get these for review purposes because a lot of you wanted me to review these lipsticks so i will be trying them out and that's why i have like so many shades because i want to give you an overall feel this range has 40 shades but ain't nobody buying all 40 because budget and then we have quite impressive then i got platonic love which is really neon -y, bright pink then I have Hazelnut which is a warm brown shade Then there's Loyal To You which is like a purpley pink shade Then I have Lasting Passion which is a bright pink shade Then I have Red Nature which is red Then we have a Pure Temptation which is like a peachy coral colour then I have raspberry which is like a brownie, like chocolate brown shade. And lastly I have icy brown which again is a brown shade. I don't think that these two are quite different. The only thing is this one which is raspberry has more red undertones while this one has more yellow undertones to it. Then coming to the most exciting part of the haul, I finally got the Becca Jacqueline Hill Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. I'm sorry for that but I had to so I'm gonna show you how it looks like I got this from an Instagram page which is beauty by India they were kind enough to send this to me and I love 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 that store you must check it out they have all sorts of amazing things including Colourpop so yes this Becca shimmer highlighter by Jacqueline Hill looks like this how gorgeous 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 is this like I'm so excited to wear it. I have still haven't like worn it ever, but I am really, really, really excited to try this out. So I got that from the same store. I also got the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip, which looks like this. This is in the shade Mars, so it has to be like a red color, but it's like a pinky red color. Still haven't tried. I haven't tried a lot of things from this haul. So I might just do a full face of impressions, wow, full face of impressions really soon, but still trying to do the tutu. Then I also got the Makeup Geek Foil Eyeshadow Pan in the shade in the spotlight, which is like a rose gold color. It is extremely gorgeous. Let me just take it out and show to you guys how gorgeous this shade is. So this is how the shade looks like. I hope you guys can see it. It's a beautiful shadow. It's just so pretty, like, it would look so good on my eye, right? Then she also sent in some samples, and I love samples. So the first one is this Leaders in Solution Brilliant Brightening Mask, and this is how it looks. Then there's this By Yourself Heating One Minute Mask with Natural Charcoal. This is really interesting. I might just use it right now. I need it. And lastly we have this bio, I don't know what this is because it's all in Chinese and I cannot read Chinese or maybe it's Japanese or maybe some other language like Mandarin or I don't know, I just don't know which language this is, I'm sorry guys. But most probably I think it's a nose strip because of the uh, packaging feels of it and that again is something I really need. Then an SG fam member sent me loads of gifts, I'm sorry I can't show you all of them because I already like placed them somewhere and I couldn't like really 
find all of the gifts. So I'm just gonna show you some gifts that are like lying on top, which are these two brushes by e.l.f. One is their professional total face brush, and the other is professional bronzing brush. So I'm really happy that you sent me e.l.f. because I really can't find e.l.f. in India, and I really like e.l.f. products. So I got these two brushes. Then she sent me this trim 10 emery boards for like your nails, so to file them and stuff. So she sent me that. And then she sent in this wet and wild color icon lip color. This is in the shade berry red, which is a beautiful color. This is what the color looks like. And there were a lot of other things, like a lot. I'm like, I cannot even tell you how many because they were like a lot. I'm really sorry that I couldn't show you everything because I already like placed them in their places. But still, like, a huge thanks to you for sending me these products. Your love means a lot to me. Yes, moving on, I've got a lot of products from Nykaa.com. I'm going to show you one by one. So L'Oreal on Valentine's Day had this 50% off thing going on on a lot of sites. And Nykaa was like the first site to hold it for 14 minutes only. So obviously I had to get a lot of things. So I got the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Match the Skin and Texture Foundation. This is in the shade R2C2 Vanilla Rose Rose Vanilla. I don't know what to say. So I have this. Although it is, I think, a little light for my skin, but it does oxidize on me, so I don't know how the chemistry between us works. Then I got the L'Oreal Le Crayon Corrector in the shade, this is the shade, I don't know the shade, which shade are you? I don't know the shade guys, I have no clue which shade this is. But this is what it looks like, it's their Creon Concealer and I still haven't used this so I am waiting to use this. Then I also got the L'Oreal True Matte Super Blendable Concealer in the shade Natural. Again, I haven't still used this. As soon as I use this, I will let you guys know. But I am, as you can see, thinking of doing a full face of first impressions, which I might just do pretty soon. Then I have the L'Oreal False Lash Butterfly Waterproof Mascara. Again, I haven't used this. All of this was at a 50% off. So I will write the actual MRPs in the bottom bar, but you can like do the math and see how much half of the price would have been. So I got the False Lash Butterfly Waterproof Mascara. Then I also got the Lucent Magique Blush of Light Glow Palette. I really wanted to get my hands on this and it was on a 50% off, so I had to. The colors are gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh yes. They're gorgeous, guys. So yes, I got that. And the packaging, L'Oreal knows how to package their stuff. They just know. Then obviously, I got some L'Oreal lippies. I got their Moist Matte Lipstick in the shade Lincoln Rose which is a beautiful red. Apparently, uh, Eshwarya I also wore this on the Canon red carpet. So, yeah. Then I got two of their extraordinaire matte lipsticks. I think what they're called in the shade. One shade is Madeline Pink or Madeline Pink. And the other one is uh, Pigal Scarlet. Pigal Scarlet, how else that they say it? That's how you say it, right? So this one is a pretty rose sort of a color like the major in pink and the gal scarlet is like a blood red color although these aren't like extremely matte to be very honest with you guys these are maybe velvet matte or demi matte they're not like matte 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 so i got these all from nyka so then i also got the color bar deep matte lip creme in the shade deep rust which is like an orangey 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 brown shade it looks really nice on and I think it would suit all skin types. This is, I think, one of the dupes for Miami Heat. Miami Heat is like a liquid lipstick by Ofra Cosmetics in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. And, uh, but the only formulation problem issue that I have again is that they are not extremely matte. And this isn't, this is sort of like a satiny finish which I don't get because there's a deep matte lip cream. Uh, I think lip creams are done best by Miss Claire to be very honest with you guys. Then I got these two faces stackable eyeshadows. I've already done a review on them so if you want to see it, bottom bar is the place to go. So one of this is in the shade Wild which is like a colourful one and the other one is Zebra which is like the monochromatic black and, black and white one. These retail for $6.99 each I guess or $7.99 each. I forgot the MRP but 
This is how they look like. Then I got Ardell lashes in the style Daisy. These are really nice and wispy. I actually wore these on the FanFest red carpet and these served me real well. I really like them. And the glue that I used was again by Ardell. This is their lash grip eyelash adhesive in the clear variant. And again, this is a really nice glue. It makes your lashes stay in place for all day long and just very nice. And I dropped it. Then I also got the Freedom Pro Studio, Studio, wow, Studio Fixing Spray which again I used on the YT as a red carpet and it like really made my skin look nice. Then I got the Bharat and Doris Loose Powder. This is in the shade 1 I guess or 2. I'm not really sure. What I saw on screen was something like more yellow undertone but this seems more translucent tea shade, not too sure. This is in the shade number one and this retail for 400 rupees. This is their smaller size. The bigger size retail 500 rupees, but they didn't have like it in this shade. So I just got the small one. From Nyka, I also got their new nail polish collection. This is their new nail polish collection and they have gorgeous shades in it. First one that I have in my hand is Lavender Butter Cream, which is so beautiful. I can't even with this color. Then I have caramel macchiato or macchiato. I don't know how to pronounce that. Again, it's a beautiful nude color. So you have a nude for every skin color, which is like the perf thing. Perf, so fancy. Then we have cinnamon bun, which is like a corally nude color. These uh, nail polishes, I think, retail for 179 rupees. Yes, they retail for 179 rupees each. And the formulation is just amazing, guys. They don't leave your nails for about a week, which is good. They don't chip, which is amazing. And I'm not an Ica spokesperson, I swear to you guys. I would never, ever, ever lie to you guys about a product that's like, I promise to you guys, I would always tell you the truth. If I don't like something, I don't like it. It's like, it's right here on my face. If I like something, it's right here again. Then we have Candy Crush, which is like another pinkish nude color. Then we have Earl Grey Tea Cake, which is like my favorite color of the range. I've worn this. You guys have asked me so many times and I'm like, Earl Grey Tea Cake, Earl Grey Tea Cake. It is beautiful. Then we have Tiramisu Treat, which is a brownie color, but with taupey undertones. And the last color I have is Ginger Nut Biscuit, which is brownie peachy but still a taupey color which it's like really difficult to explain these colors these are really gorgeous so that's the only explanation i have and the most interesting thing i got from nyka was this baby right here this is my baby i'm the face of this range by nyka nyka just launched their own bath and body collection and this is the variant french lavender and this girl right here is the face of it so yes, they have their body mist, they have a body lotion and a body shower. So I got the whole kit along with a loofah. I will be reviewing this soon and be giving away one of this to you guys or maybe I would have already because if this video goes up later and what I should do then this would have already happened. Then from Oriflame I got the one Wonder Liner. I got two of these from Oriflame. I did a video using them to create everyday eyeliner styles. I will link that video in the bottom bar as usual for you guys. So the tip of this is really good because it has like a pen marker sort of a tip. So it's really easy to line your eyes without going wrong. And I think the last product I have, I think, I think, I'm not too sure because there were so many products. There are two bags yet so I will show them to you. But the last uh, makeup product that I have is this Shimbo Powder Matte Lipstick. This retails for 645 rupees and this is how it looks like. It has a flower on top and this is in the shade Pink Flamingo. And this is how it looks. I still haven't used it. It smells really nice though. It reminds me of those uh, scented erasers that we used to have. If that's like a nice fragrance because I really like that fragrance. So this is the powder matte lipstick by Shimbor and now moving on to the two purses. I actually bought this for my red carpet because I had like no matching clutch with me and I really wanted to carry a clutch. So I got two to be on the safer side and I carried two to be on the safer side. So one was red because my heels were red and this is how it looks. It's quilted here and it's plain here. So because my heels were glossy, I bought this one. This is from Purse Emporium in Kurobe Bag and I think this retailed for what, 299 rupees and um, it's just a normal clutch. It didn't really have to serve a lot of utility, it just had to look good. But I didn't end up carrying this. I ended up carrying the other one that I bought. Again, I think for 299 rupees. It's a clear clutch with sort of like um, flecks of glitter on it, still clear yet. 
and it just opens up like this again it has no utility purpose but it just has to look good while you're carrying it so with that i complete my haul i hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did then do not forget to comment and subscribe it would mean a lot to me and yes check out all of my social media which would be listed in the bottom bar as usual for you guys and i will see you guys in my next video till then take care bye